Freddie Martinez will get inside your head here in just a minute and show you how comedy works. Freddie, come on up. Men, 
They're like firemen. Anything sex is an emergency. And we can be ready in a matter of two seconds. <laughs> Whereas women, they're like fire. The condition's got to be right for a curve. <laughs> Flowers, we need the candies, especially on Valentine's Day, isn't that right? You know, all I got from my wife was this card for Valentine's Day that said, I give you my mind, I give you my heart, I give you my soul. And that's just like her. She leaves all the good parts to herself. <laughs> Relationships. It's kind of weird whatever. I've noticed that. There's a lot of differences in a lot of females itself. You know, it's like, you know, we don't know romance. We're not good at romance. Isn't that right, fellas? We understand sports. And we're good at sports. And that's why we have sports parties. Last year we had the Super Bowl at my house where we had a bunch of people over. And then, you know, my wife had the nerve right in front of everybody at halftime. She said, Fred, do you love me more than football? And I said, college or NFL? <laughs> and that's when I quickly realized that men and women are completely different. You women take clothing a little bit too serious. I've never seen a guy walk into a bar and say, Dude, you better take me home. That guy has the same Death Leopard t-shirt as me. <laughs> and then, you women love clothing. My wife has tons of clothing. I have no closet space whatsoever. She has two walk-in closets, and all I have is a back of a chair. <laughs> and then there's a big difference between when, when women and men, when they get engaged. You know, when women get engaged, their friends are so happy for her, they start, they start planning the wedding. Oh, what colors the dresses are gonna be? Oh, what type of flowers are gonna get? But when a guy gets engaged, his buddies are talking about him as if he's dead. <laughs> Did you hear what happened to Steve? What? He got engaged. Oh my god! You're so young! <laughs> yeah, you know, this whole thing about relationships is so weird. You know, like, when you're married, it seems like, after a while, it seems like you get on each other's nerves. And it says, my wife is constantly complaining to me about, do the laundry, do the dishes, Put away the clothes. I kind of feel like that I have this, this inner creature in myself. And I, you know, it's like, I kind of feel like that, that guy from uh, Lord of the Rings, that little creature. You know, I kind of want to reply to her and say, Yes, Master! No, no, stop, Master! Don't hit me! <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, I'm kind of thinking about relationships. You know, it's like, Women, you constantly complain about us men that we drive terrible and we refuse to stop and ask for directions. Ladies, it's biological. We don't stop and ask for directions. Why do you think it takes a million sperm to fertilize one egg? <laughs> and this whole thing about biological stuff, my wife's biological clock is ticking. You know, I'm kind of scared. You know, she wants to have a kid, and I kind of think like, am I ready for a kid? But it's kind of scary nowadays, because, you know, I don't think I can, you know, I feel like I can be like my father and my mother, you know, how they raised me. You know, there was like six of us growing up in my family, and my mom would always try and make that money last pretty far, and said, we never used to have orange juice in our house. We used to have tang. <laughs> And every time that tank was a little low, my mom would fill it up with more and more water. Yeah. And she would try and trick us and say it's tank lights. <laughs> and then my dad, not to say he's cheap or anything like that, but the guy never throws anything away. He fixed our broken TV when the television sets had the channel knobs. He replaced the channel knob with the knob from the oven. <laughs> and to this day, my mom thinks we're getting 450 channels. <laughs> and then trying to raise kids nowadays.
nowadays I kind of think like there's not a lot of positive music that's out there. You know, you've got like what? You've got Ice T, Ice Cube, Drano. <laughs> you know what happened to that good old music like Louis Armstrong? Hello, darling. This is Louis, darling. It's so nice to be here back where you belong. <laughs> Music. I don't understand, you know? And that's why I'm gonna make my own rap group. I'm gonna be known as DJ Skittles. And this is how my rap's gonna go. You better listen to me close. Life is not peaches and cream. Life is full of dreams and dreams are priceless. A wise man once said, you gotta dream big in order to achieve big. You gotta determine your desires in order to achieve success. Success is not how good you're at it, it's how bad you want it. Education's the key, you take your time, educate your mind. Knowledge, power, power is knowledge. Why so many people not going to college? If you don't go to college, exercise your mind, learn about life before you're left behind. In the long run, you can walk the walk, you can talk the talk. So face that big rock, because life is rough and gets much rougher. If opportunity knocks, you better answer. Opportunity only comes once in a while, so don't sit back and wait for it to happen. Make your dreams turn into your rally. Step up the plate and hit the ball. You'd be surprised you can do it all if you put your mind to it. Now, if you didn't reach your ball, you didn't fail. Failure's not trying at all. Failure's <laughs> not